video, we are going to be doing the area under the curve using end rectangles and the left hand endpoint method. However, I'm only going to do setup in this particular video. So I will not be solving the entire problem out. So the first thing we want to look at is we want to consider the left hand endpoint or left hand rectangular approximation method, LRAM. We want to draw each rectangle so that the left hand side of the rectangle hits the curve, in this case y equals x squared plus 3. We're starting at the value of x equals 1, so our first rectangle will have a left hand side at x equals 1. We will continue this pattern until you get all the way up to x equals 5. Now keep in mind that we use k values to represent the rectangle number. So the first rectangle will have a k value of 1, the second rectangle a k value of 2, the third rectangle a k value of 3, and so forth. So in this case the k values are 1, 2, and 3. Now we want to find the width or the base of each rectangle. So we can use the word base, we can use the word width, or we can use delta x. All three of those mean the same thing for the width of each rectangle. Now in this particular case, the first rectangle, the height can be found by plugging in the left hand side x value. So right here for this first rectangle, the x value on the left hand side is 1, so for my first rectangle, we'll use x equals 1. To get to the left hand side of the second rectangle, we have to move over one width. So the width of each rectangle is going to be found by taking the highest x value in the interval minus the lowest x value divided by the number of rectangles. So in this case, the width of each rectangle will be 4 divided by n. So to get the second rectangle, the height for the second rectangle, we're going to plug in an x value of 1 plus 4 over n. Moving over one more rectangle to get to the third rectangle, that means we would have to go over two widths. So 1 plus 2 times 4 over n. If you follow the general pattern here, when k was 1, we really added 0 4 over n's, or 0 widths. When k was 2, we added 1 4 over n, or 1 width, and when k is 3, we added 2 widths. So in general, you can see that the x equation is going to be found by 1 plus k minus 1 4 over n's. My suggestion is to combine that into a fraction, so it would be 1 plus 4k minus 4 over n. And that's the x, x equation that we're going to use when we substitute in later on. So the setup stays the same. Sigma, area of the kth rectangle, when k equals 1 up to n, we can substitute in. That means sigma, base of the kth rectangle, times the height of the kth rectangle. And of course we know that that means the base or the delta x or the width is 4 over n and the height is going to be found by x squared plus 3 but at this point we would know instead of x plug in 1 plus 4k minus 4 over n for that x value put the quantity in parentheses and then you'd be well on your way to solving this problem. So that would be the setup using n rectangles in the left hand endpoint method or LRAM for x equals 1 to 5 of x squared plus 3. Now we get to see how slow my computer is. Thank you.